tell time to the hour and half hour, we're going to use an analog clock and a minute hand now. This is lesson 9.8. If you haven't watched video 9.6 and 9.7, you should watch those first. And there's links in this description so you can go there now. So we've been talking about clocks and there's two types. The first type is an analog clock and it has a clock face. That's what we call this entire area here. It's the face of the clock. Analog clocks have an hour hand, which is short, and a minute hand that is long. And they could be gold or silver or black. They could be any color. I just made mine red and blue so you could tell the hour hand from the minute hand easier. When we look at the face of the clock, we see numbers going all the way around this is clockwise going in this direction. And each number is an hour on an analog clock. You see these little lines in between here? Well, these little tiny lines are minutes for the minute hand. Each little line is one minute, so we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it goes all the way around back up to the top to 60 because there are 60 minutes for the minute hand. There's 12 hours for the hour hand. And the other type of clock is a digital clock. We call this the display, and it shows the hours on the left side and the minutes on the right side. So each analog clock has an hour hand and a minute hand. And the minute hand and the hour hand are different for time to the hour and half hour. We learned before the hour hand points to a number to show that hour. And it points between numbers to show half past that hour. The minute hand's different. The minute hand points to the 12 to show the hour as o'clock. And it points to the 6 to show half past. So we learned in the previous videos, this is one o'clock, the hour hand is pointing to the one. When the hour hand points directly at a number and it's an o'clock, like one o'clock, the minute hand will point to the 12. When it's half past, we learned that the minute, that the hour hand is in between two numbers. It's just past one o'clock, but it's not two o'clock yet. So it's in between the one and the two. This is half past one. When it, the hour hand is pointing to half past, the minute hand will be pointing to the six. So do you see the difference? When it's o'clock, the minute hand points to the 12, and when it's half past, the minute hand points to the six. All right, so let's explain this more. So we saw in the beginning of the video that an hour has 60 minutes. There are 60 little lines going all the way around for the minute hand. Each little line is one minute for the minute hand. And each number is an hour for the hour hand. We know that this is clockwise. So if we look at a clock, each little line is one minute. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And some of you might know how to skip count by fives already. We can skip count by fives because every time we get to one of the hour numbers, it's another five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And when we get here, it's 30. 30 is half of 60. 30 plus 30 equals 60. So one of the 30s would be half of the 60. It would be half of the 60 minutes. It would be half of the hour. So a half hour has 30 minutes. If we counted each little line going all the way around, we would be at 30 when we get to the bottom here. See? 
and that's where the minute hand will point when it's half past. Now here we have a digital clock and an analog clock. These clocks show two o'clock. We have the hour is two and there's no minutes, it's o'clock. And the hour hand is pointing to the two, the minute hand is on the 12, so it's two o'clock. These clocks show half past two o'clock. Remember, when it's half past, the minute hand is going to point to the 30. So now the hour is 2 and the minutes are 30. On the analog clock, the hour hand is showing half past by pointing in between the 2 and the 3. It just passed 2, but it's not at 3 yet. So it's 2, 30, or half past 2. It's 30 minutes past Two o'clock. The minute hand moved from the 12 for the o'clock and it moved around clockwise to the 6th. So now it's half past and we can also say 2.30. It's the same time. Half past and 2.30 would be the same time. We need to write the time on these clocks in the boxes we need to read the hour hand first. So let's start with this one. Do you know what time this one says? We read the hour hand first. It's pointing to the four. So we know the hour is a four. And the minute hand is pointing to the 12. And do you remember what time it is when it's pointing to the 12? It's o'clock. So we're just gonna write a four, zero, zero, okay? Let's try this one. We read the hour hand first. It's in between the seven and the eight, so it just passed the seven, but it's not at the eight yet. So it's still seven for the hour, and when the minute hand is pointing to the six, do you remember? When the minute hand is pointing to the six, the minutes are 30. So this would be seven, 30. Let's try this one. We start with the hour hand. It's pointing to the 10, so that's our hour. And the minute hand is pointing to the 12, so it's 10 o'clock. Let's try another one. We start with the hour hand. It's in between the nine and the 10. It just passed the nine, but it's not at 10 yet. So it's still nine. The minute hand is pointing to the six, and when the minute hand is pointing to the six, we have a 30 for half past. Let's see if I can write this. Sorry about my writing. Here we have another clock. We look at the hour hand first. It's pointing in between the 11 and the 12. So it just passed the 11. It's not at 12 yet. So we know the hour is 11. The minute hand is pointing to the 6. And when the minute hand points to the 6, the minutes are 30 for half past. It's a half hour past 11 o'clock. It's 11.30. Now I've got my big clock here again, still, and I've drawn all the little minutes that go around the clock until we get to the 30 minutes half hour. And I've shown this before. Here the hour hand is pointing to the four and the minute hand is pointing to the 12, so it's four o'clock. Watch what the hour hand does as I move this minute hand down to the six, okay? I know it's a little close, but I'm just gonna see if you can see this. When the minute hand is pointing to the six, with gears, because they're connected to each other, the two hands, it moved the hour hand in between the four and the five, see? And now the minute hand is pointing to the 30 minutes, 
that our hand is in between the 4 and the 5 for the half past, it's half past 4, or we could say it's 4.30. All right? Emma eats lunch when both the hour hand and the minute hand point to 12. What time does Emma eat lunch? Well, let's look at this. It says both the hour hand and the minute hand point to 12. We could draw a picture to help us. If the hour hand is pointing to 12, then the hour must be 12, right? But it says the minute hand is also pointing to 12, so the hands are on top of each other. And what do, time is it when the minute hand is pointing to the 12? It's o'clock, isn't it? So it's the hour is 12, and the minutes is telling us it's o'clock. So it's 12 o'clock. It would be this one. And the clock would look like this. They're both pointing to the 12 when that's 12 o'clock. We can also call that noon or lunchtime, all right? We'll talk more about how a clock goes around two times when you get into second grade. Tim walks his dog when the hour hand points between the five and the six and the minute hand points to the six. What time does Tim walk his dog? Let's look here. It says the hour hand points between the five and the six. So it's in the middle. That means it just passed the five and it's not six yet. So it's still five something. So this is not the answer. We know it's still five something. It says the minute hand points to the six. Well, we learned that when the minute hand points to the six, the minutes are 30. So it must be this one. It's five thirty. And the clock would look like this. The hour hand would be in between the 5 and the 6, and the long minute hand would be pointing to the 6. That would be 5.30, or half past 5. Tala wakes up at 7.30. Draw the minute hand and the hour hand on the clock to show the time she wakes up. She wakes up at 7.30. That would be half past 7, wouldn't it? We know the minute hand is going to be pointing to the 6, right? because it's on the 30. So we can draw a long minute hand pointing to the six. Where's the hour hand? Well, because it's half past, it's not gonna be pointing directly at the seven. It's not seven o'clock. It would only point directly at the seven if it was seven o'clock. This is half past seven, it's 7.30. Do you remember where the hour hand goes when it's half past? It goes in between two numbers, doesn't it? Now it's not eight o'clock yet, so it's still seven o'clock. So it's going to go in between the seven and the eight. And remember the hour hand is short, so we don't want to make it too long. It's not as long as the minute hand. So now that would show 7.30 or half past seven. Choose all the ways that show the time on the clock. What time does this clock show? The hour hand is in between the three and the four, so it just passed the three, but it's not four yet. So it's three, the minute hand is on the six, so it must be a 30. It must be 3.30 or half past three. So it's not half past four, it's half past three, so we can fill this one in, right? That would be a right answer. And do you see another correct answer? It says choose all the ways. What's another way of showing half past three or 3.30? Do you see it? Yeah, the bottom one. That's 3.30. We can fill that one in. So those are both ways that we can show half past three this time on the clock. If you want more videos about time that go into detail with minutes and seconds and quarter past and quarter two, there's going to be links in this video's description about my grade two math videos that teach time. Our next lesson is practice time to the hour and half hour. 
That's lesson 9.9, .9, and that'll be our last lesson about telling time. But like I said, if you want to keep learning and learn more about telling time to the minute and about second hands, you can see the second grade videos, all right? And they're linked in the description. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.